Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Eagle, Eagle Bulk Shipping, E-G-L-E. This is the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. It's a $3.30 price point, and this was the play of the day. It's actually almost shocking, the amount of money that I made in this day, considering the price point of the stock, but it just goes to show you. Something can move and have beautiful risk to reward, and it doesn't matter if it's $4, $3, $6, or $26, or $67. It's nothing to do with the price of the stock. It has to do with the entries, and this had great risk to reward entries in every setup today. I didn't even do the first trade. I was watching Cisco out of the gate, uh, so I didn't even do this uh, Eagle uh, first trade. If I had, I would have made even more money in it today. The first trade was here, and it rolled on over was a nice, beautiful uh, trade and a good risk to reward trade on its own accord. And if I had done it, I would have gotten out of it there. But instead I did this trade. This was a very nice entry and actually could have stayed in this trade and held it all the way through. I did get out of this when it dropped down in here though, because the first target was 340 and this was late. This was the first trade. So, you know, I decided to get all out of this sucker here um, and, and book some money, get green. But when it ran back up here and held the resistance, I did it again. And I even did an add in this too. So this ended up being a really, really beautiful trade for lots of reasons. One, worked, went to the target. Two, it also gave an opportunity for an ad, which when things come up here back to retest, it gives an opportunity for an ad uh, to take more and then lower the stop. And not only that, um, the actual move on it had the follow through. $3 was the dream target it almost got there. I exited in this tail. But it was good because I had a lot of conviction that the stock was going to, going to go on to work because the gap was good, number one. I always look at the gap, and if the gap is good, then I like the chart to short. And number two, the market was rallying this morning, and this wasn't. And it had the move here and was ready on the go. So when something backs up here to this lowest level of resistance, which is what it did, and sets up, it's good. When it backs up here again to the secondary lowest level of resistance, again, it's good. Backs up here again to the even lowest level of resistance, it was where you can do an ad, it's good. I had a lot of conviction as to go today. I was just hitting it, trying to get filled as much as I could. And it just goes to show you, when you have a good gap, even if it's a small price point stock, you can still get a nice move in something with good risk to reward. And if you do ads, you can really turn uh, something that could be a small to medium trade into a medium to large trade on the day. This is even uh, trying to break down here again here in the afternoon. Uh, again, didn't get to $3. Whether or not it will get to $3 or the low of the day before the close of the business today, who knows, because it is getting late. It's 234 But this could break it low here at 313 and could get down to $3 today. Why? It's holding here. It's holding the area of 340. This is the area it has to hold to go lower, and it's doing it. This may just either pitter off and die out here today, or other than it's going to come down here and break the low, because I don't think it goes over this area today. Market is breaking out over the highs, and this is holding low. This is a weak, weak chart. It's a weak gap. No one wants this thing. It is a good breakdown play here, and nice follow through. It was a good gap. It was a good gap today, and I'm so glad I did it. And I'm really glad that I did the ad in it, too. <laughs> So this is the Stock Swish Show play of the day. A uh, rinker dinker, but a really nice move in this with good risk to reward. Sometimes if you take a trade and it does, you know, you're not sure, but it doesn't look like much, you know, you should, you should, you should look at the gap. The gap really tells you what's going on in here. And this just had absolutely no chance of uh, going over $4 today um, after the way that it fell on through. And look, this is trying to break down again. In fact, what was the price of the first entry here? Let me go back. Here, was it 60? So a seven cent stop is a great entry. And this one was even less. This one was even less here. This was 50 by 56. This was a six cents. Seven cents, six cents stops. This is the way to go, particularly in something like this. And then if it goes and it works, you take a six cent stop and the stock goes on to work 40 cents. That's a beautiful trade. It's a beautiful trade. It's not always about getting something that runs two, three, four, five, six dollars in the day. It's about the right entry. It's about the right entry, the correct entry, putting the stop at the right place and taking the right size. And not only that, if you get a chance to do ads, it makes it even better because then you can really bulk up your size. And 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 even if you had a small account, you could have taken size in this. And certainly if you have a good account, a, a advanced trader size account, you can take size in this. It was a nice trade today in here. 
So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on how to do entries, I'm teaching an entry course next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, November 19th and 20th. And the next Golden Gap course is December 14th and 15th, the last Golden Gap course of the year. So again, Eagle was a Golden Gap today, and a nice one at that. Beautiful, nice, fat red bar, a big fat red bar for this chart. Entries all over the place in this thing today. Holding every number correctly and every resistance, and really has potential to get down and break the low here. It's going to try to do it. If it doesn't, it's just because it runs out of time, but it's certainly trying. Nice move in this today. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information about the entries class next week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.